candidato a ter saído, Valverde candidato a ter saído, Casimiro é candidato também a estar fora do jogo, já já a gente confirma aí as alterações. Vamos para o segundo tempo, Casimiro continua em campo, Marcelo também, Azar, Benzema, Goma, que recebe aí o bonsai que representa o título da Mabel Green Cup na sua primeira edição. I was scrolling through Instagram before bed as I do every night. When I stumbled upon this photo, I thought to myself, that's a weird Photoshop, and I moved on. The following morning, I seen the same picture a few more times, but from slightly different angles. This wasn't a Photoshop, this, this was real. I recognised the player was from the Italian team, AC Roma, so I quickly googled their recent fixtures. It turns out the night before they had played a pre-season friendly against the Spanish team, Real Madrid. Google showed that the match was called the Mabel Green Cup, and the prize was the tree that I had seen. To my shock, the UK media was laughing at the whole thing. I couldn't believe it. Later in the day, Instagram was flooded with memes and just general mockery. However, the bonsai community was overjoyed and fast made up with the tree. But there were so many unanswered questions. I couldn't find any information about the tree. Traditional media just joked about it, rather than being bothered to ask the important questions. I might be wrong, but the last time a bonsai was put in front of a large number of the general public like this was back when these two were put in the trees back in the 80s. I really want to know as much as possible about the tree. So I put my investigative training to full use and reached out to Mabel Capital, a financial investment company in Spain. Their name was on the poster, and well, the event was called the Mabel Green Cup after all, so they must have answers. I contacted them and they confirmed they were the people behind the tree. They were super helpful and went above and beyond to help me make this video, especially considering English isn't their first language. They told me that the company is owned by these two men. They wanted to raise money for charity. They wanted to promote and raise awareness of sustainability and environmental protection. They decided a big international football match would be the perfect platform for this. It would raise money and promote their message to a large number of people. As they were based in Madrid, they reached out to Real Madrid, one of the biggest teams on the planet, and they came to an agreement, and the match was arranged. And that's how the Milo Green Cup was born. They got the tree from a local bonsai nursery in Madrid called Bonsai Colmenar. They have a YouTube channel, which actually featured the trophy back in 2017. From what I can tell, this guy and his nursery are pretty much the Spanish version of Peter Chan and Heron's bonsai in the UK. They have a massive nursery with a lot of very high quality trees. The tree is a Pinus parviflora, or better known as a Japanese white pine. It's 60 years old and 75 centimeters tall. It was imported into the nursery from Kanuma in Japan. They unfortunately did not have any information about the pot. The plaque on the pot says Maple Green Cup, 11 de Augusto. 2019. I cheekily asked how much it cost, and well, that was the only question I didn't answer. But hey, we've all been on their few websites looking at the high end specimen trees. We all know how much they are. Anyway, they said they picked the pine as it's the most symbolic bonsai. It represents persistency and exclusivity, the king of bonsai trees. I would agree, if you asked a member of the public to draw a bonsai, they would probably draw something pine-like. So I think they picked well, but would you consider pines the king of bonsai? Leave me a comment below to let me know what you think is the king. I also asked about both clubs' perception of things. I was told they had both welcomed the idea of an absolute commitment. Both the players and the high ranks are aware of the need to promote this issue to the greater society. They also want to apply actions in their day-to-day -day life which will contribute to the cause. 
I also asked what they thought about the media's perception. They said, we didn't take it as a bad way, as they were never rude to us. We just take it as a tool for communication, as there's lots of memes created. And this leader helps with reaching the society and making an awareness about the whole situation. The fact that we need to help our planet. I find that to be an incredible attitude to have, and I believe there is some truth in it. Yes, people laughed, but how many other people seen that tree and were inspired to look into the art form? They decided a tree would make the best prize, as it was aligned with the main message of the event. A tree is a living piece of nature that needs to be taken care of every day, which is the same attitude we should apply to our planet. The two men giving the trophy away are the CEO of Mabel Capital, Manuel Gollar, and Enrique Requiem, founder of Cox Energy, which is one of the other companies involved. They specialise in providing sustainable energy. The lady is Bollywood actress and self-claimed environmentalist, Esha Gupta. When I asked how she got involved, they said, we want an activist and a green lover to get involved at an international level. For this, we chose Esha. Not only did she fit the profile, but when we told her about the proposal, she was super supportive from the beginning until the end. It's been an honour to have her as an ambassador. She is an extraordinary person and committed to our planet. We are sure the relationship that we have built will remain for a long, long time. One of the biggest concerns from the Bonsai community was the ongoing care of the tree. I was told that the tree is now owned by Roma and it was fully their responsibility. I was told that they will look after it every day in the same way that we should look after our planet every day. When you consider that the stadium in Roma is used by Roma and Lazio, and the Italian rugby team. I think it's safe to say there will be a team of groundskeepers. They manage to keep the pitch in great condition week in, week out. They also more than likely have some kind of formal horticultural training. I know grass is a bit different from a 65 year old pine tree, but I think they'll be fine. I did email Roma, but at this time I haven't heard back from them. I have been told that the tree is kept at the training ground and it is available for the public to visit. Finally, I asked if there are any plans to use different trees in the future, to which I was told we would like to maintain the bond size as our trophies. I take that to mean there will be more competitions in the future with different trees as a trophy, so you'll have to keep an eye out for that. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you had seen the tree before, hopefully this video will have answered some of the questions you might have had. And now we all know it was to promote saving the planet and sustainability, which is a pretty important message. And more importantly, we know the tree will be well looked after. If you find this video interesting, please do me a favour and like it and share it with your friends and bonsai buddies. Thanks for watching. See you next time.